I feel like a lot of people don't talk about the dark side of engineering. Despite all these like unlimited PTO, fancy offices, and being able to work from home or work anywhere else, I feel like people are just like focusing on the perks of being a software developer despite all the dark sides. And I think in today's video, I do want to talk about the dark sides of being a software engineer. There are days when I literally cannot sleep because I was so stressed out from work. And and I do want to share those moments with you. So if you're here and ready to listen for me to talk about my perspective of being a software engineer, please stay tuned. And by the way, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Vicky May and I am a full-time software developer in New York City as well as a content creator. So if you like tech-related content, here is my channel and you can also find me on social media such as Instagram, TikTok, and all that good stuff. So let's dive into the tea. So stepping into 2024, this year continuously we're getting hit by layoffs and there are just so many news about how there are companies including a lot of profitable big companies are laying people off, especially in the engineering department. Unfortunately, it looks like this is part of just the economy also as well as now there's the rise of AI. There might be a possibility even AI is gonna take over our job and obviously like I talked about my perspectives about AIs and what I think about it and I don't want this video to be like a discouraging video for you but I do wanted to share some of my personal experience and my perspectives about this field considering I've been in tech for almost 10 years now it's crazy it's been that long already and obviously this video is going to be you know mainly focusing on my perspective if you experience entirely differently I would say I welcome you to leave comments down below I would love to hear your perspective and your experience working in tech as well the first thing that I want to mention is the burnout culture and you probably already know that there are so many other people who are also opening up about being burned out or like feeling they're constantly needed to catch up and feeling imposture and I feel like this feels is kind of unfortunately makes you feel easier to get burned out. I know a lot of jobs has its own pressure and I feel like a lot of professions have their own work stress. But I feel like being an engineer, there are a lot of times that you just feel like you're constantly keeping up with the tech stacks and keeping up with the status of the projects and you sometimes don't know how to balance your personal time to relax and you ended up overworked. Especially in the recent couple years, there are so many layoffs in different companies and obviously that adds the extra pressure for engineers to perform at their best. And I also think that because a lot of companies are cutting out budget, there's just like less people who are getting hired onto the team. So there are just a lot of understaffing situations in different teams. And that also happens to me. I had worked at teams where we are basically understaffed and we will have to wait for other teams to outsource engineers for us. Unfortunately, during this situation like where the economy is currently, I think this would be continue to happen. And I also think that the nature of engineering are kind of stressful. You probably will see a lot of videos about how people are relaxing, how people are really enjoy the office space, the unlimited snacks and drinks and food. But in real life, I feel like if you really wanted to be good at your job, you will need to learn on your own to keep up with stacks. And you would also need to put a lot of time into committing to your job. And by that, I mean a lot of times we got interruptions from other people. And you know how when you are in the zone of coding, you don't want it to get interrupted because you're literally, like literally <laughs> 300 levels deep in like Inception, like the movie. And that could lead to you working longer hours after work to make up 
that workload that you need to work on your projects. So I think that the nature of our job sometimes, unfortunately, just very stressful. And I think that a lot of times is that you can't focus or sometimes it's really hard for you to being productive while you also need to respond to so many other needs from other people at the same time. That being said, I also worked at teams where I was fortunately to have no meetings Thursday or no meetings Wednesday or no meeting afternoon where engineers can focus on their core work. But I still feel like, you know, it really depending from companies to companies. And a lot of times I think if you have certain urgent requirements or requests from your team members, you kind of have to like get interrupted from your workflow and therefore you might end up working longer hours and you might potentially run into burned out easier. The second thing is the endless learning curve. And this is not brand new. You already know that engineering is evolving and changing all the time. If you think about JavaScript, it was developed and introduced in 1995 and that was not that long ago and see how much JavaScript has already changed right like back in the days everyone is saying that JavaScript is difficult and confusing and now JavaScript is just really easy to learn and it also becomes one of the most popular programming languages so I think that in this field itself it's just always require engineers to take extra time especially your extra free time to learn on your own and keep up with all these newer technologies and having your side projects so then you can like just practice different technologies on your own and all of these things could just become very daunting sometimes because not everyone wants to program after you've programmed eight hours a day and to be honest with you before i got into engineering i love building side projects on my own and i also love like contributing to open source but like i think after you've worked or committed into a team and you've been doing so much of coding already during the day at the end of the day you kind of want to do something else you kind of want to work on something that is not just sitting at your computer and writing code I I think that a lot of people didn't realize that this job is not only just working at your job but also spending time to improve on your own and try to learn new things along with it and I feel like this is also something that like people don't talk about often and to be quite honest with you some days I feel like I literally has to set time aside where I can learn on my own so then I can continue improving my skills sets and also experiment other projects and interesting tech stacks on my own. The third thing that I want to talk about is the work environment and the unlimited PTO and food. So this might look really tempting and this might look like such a good deal when you just starting out at a job. However, I feel like sometimes you don't see the dark side or like the sneaky side of the company where a a lot of these nice working environments could be something that they're trying to allude you into working longer hours. For instance, I know that at Bloomberg, they would give you free meal if you stay after 7 p.m. But like, honestly, if you stay over 7 p.m., you probably should just call it a day and go home and get some rest. Because a lot of times, these work environment and benefits might just be something that you think it would have been nice but then like at the end of the day they do expect you to be in the office and this is one of those things that make you feel comfortable so then you can stay longer and more willingly to go into the office um, so I think that there are perks and things that you can see online where people are really enjoying their office environment they're playing games with the co-workers but then in real life if you're taking your job really seriously you probably don't have those times 
times to play games with your coworker during work hours. The last thing that I want to talk about is the corporate culture and tech. Even though we're trying to make an effort to create a better work culture and tech, I still feel like the nasty corporate America culture still exists in tech, and it's very much exists anywhere else as well. Unfortunately, it, this is a business. They do want it to maximizing their profit. If you work for a company, ultimately they are making decisions that is the best for them, for the business, instead of for their employee. This is just how I see it. You might experience totally different. But I feel like in my past 10 years of career, that is always the case. Unfortunately, I know that in certain big tech companies, there is a program where if you don't get promotions for a certain amount of time, they would automatically put you on a list of people that they slowly will just lay you off. Which means they would not give you important projects. You're just there for the sake of being there. They don't give you like any incentives to stay it's basically like a slowly laying off type of career route and it's definitely terrible because now if you don't get promoted you'll be constantly thinking about ways that you could get yourself promoted and you would try to always outperform and try to make sure that you don't get abandoned this is not sustainable and obviously if you keep going at 200 instead of 100 you'll ultimately cause burned out and feeling like you can't really recover from work so i think this is also like another dark side of the corporate culture and tech and also like a lot of people experience that when they're working in a big bigger tech company they're just surrounded by so many intelligent people they feel like they always needed to prove themselves they always feel pressure working with other people there's a lot of like imposter syndromes could occur while you're working there these are all like the dark sides of being an engineer and i've experienced all of the above in a past and i feel like i've also heard stories from other people who work at tech has like similar experiences and this is just my point of view of being an engineer for about five years now and i also think that you know if you have experienced differently please leave comments down below i would love to hear your experiences as well and i just wanted to be here to talk about my own experiences i want to share the good and the bad about being a developer. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Stay safe and adios.